My name is Mr. Duncan, and some kids call me the story man because I go to schools and I tell stories. I've been doing it a long time. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived a farmer. Now, he was an excellent farmer. Everything he did was perfect. He had the best crops. He had the most crops. He had the best animals. He was perfect for a farmer. But one day he was sitting down eating by himself and he said, hmm, you can do this with me if you want. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. I'm missing something, he said, in life. And he thought about what it could be and all of a sudden he said, aha, I, I have it. I need a wife. So he started uh, looking for a wife. He looked here and he looked there and he looked everywhere. And finally he found the perfect wife. She too was a good farmer. And between the both of them, why they had the farm even better than before. And then, he was sitting eating breakfast with her one day and he said, hmm, hmm, hmm. Something is missing. And she said, dear, we are going to have a baby. A baby, oh, that's what it is. Oh. I need to, oh, that's what I've always wanted. It'll make my life perfect. And so he said to her, is the baby going to be a boy or a girl? She said, I don't know. What? You're having the baby and you don't know? I'll go ask the old woman who lives across the river. So there was a wise old woman who lived across the river. He waited the river. Went to her house, knocked, come in. He came in. It was kind of an old beaten up house, dark and dingy on the inside. And she said, what do you want, Tesfa? Tesfa was his name. What do you want? He said, well, we are having the baby. And my wife doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl. Can you tell me? Well, she said, I have to consult my bones. So he went to the cupboard, got out a jar of bones. She looked at those bones and she shook the jar and she spread them out like that. And she went, aha. And then she shook the jar again. She threw them the other way. She said, oh, oh. She said, come close, Tesla. I will tell you the answer to your question. The baby that you're having is going to be either a boy or a girl. Ah, he said, I knew you would know the answer. And so he ran home and he said, wife, I have an answer. The baby is going to be either a boy or a girl. She looked at him and she said, hmm. Well, some time passed and the baby girl was born. And the wife was holding the baby in her arms and he was looking and very proudly and he said, oh, what a beautiful baby. He said, uh, what's the baby's name? She said, well, you don't like my name so I don't like yours, we gotta agree on something. He said, ah, I'll go ask the old woman who lives across the river. And he waited the river, knocked on her door, Tesfa, is that you? I've come to ask another question. Come in. She said, now, we have a baby girl just like you said, and now we need to know her name. She said, well, I have to consult my bones. So they went to the, jar, uh, to the cupboard and got out a jar of bones. She looked at those bones. Aha, she said. And she gathered up the bones, threw them another way. Oh, ho. Tesfa, come close. Tesfa came close. Hold out your hands. 
He held out his hands like this. He said, I'm going to whisper the name of the baby in your hands, and then you'll know. So he put up his hand to her lips. <laughs> ah, don't let it go. That's the name of your baby right there in your hands. Oh, thank you, he said. I knew you would know. They waded back across the river, started running towards home as fast as he could go. And then all of a sudden, he decided to take a shortcut. So he jumped over the fence where several farmers were working. And they were pitching hay around. And Tesla said, look, at, look what I have. The blame of my baby is in my hands. Oh, she is so clever and wise. And started across the field, but he wasn't looking where he was going. And all of a sudden, he fell. Splat, he went like that. Oh no, he said, the baby's gone. The, the name of the baby is, what am I going to do? And I, I'll find it, he said. So he got down on his hands and knees, and he started going like this through all of the hay and straw. And the farmers came around and said, what are you looking for? And he said, it's right here somewhere. So they got on their knees. And they were all scratching and scrabbling around, and they couldn't find it anywhere. And all of a sudden, an old lady came by. She jumped over the fence. She said, what are you looking for? <coughs> well, you'll have to ask Tesfa. So Tesfa was over here, and he said, uh, we're looking for the name of my baby, and it's here. And he explained the whole thing. The old woman looked at him like this, and she said, it's simply ridiculous. And with that, she hopped over the fence and went down the road. Well, they continued, continued, and all of a sudden, Tesfa jumped up and he yelled, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got the name of my baby, I've found it. And with that, he ran back home and he said, wife, wife, the name of the baby is simply ridiculous. And that's what she's been called ever since, simply Thank you very much for being such a good audience. I hope we can do it again. Thank you.